Hello, welcome to Lorenzo's Mission a Day, Day 22, Mission 22. Today in fact will be two missions and as you can see we have a very simple rocket here. Now, my YouTube friend Jay Cheetah has been making some new missions. As you can see these are not them. I'm not a quitter, I'm going to extract as much money I can from these older missions and then hopefully tomorrow we can have a look at the new missions and of course our own goals of going to Vol and possibly Duna. Today we have two orbit missions, fairly run of the mill, going round one, 60,000 for that, and going round two, 50,000 for that, this requires a polar orbit, and as you can see the payouts are not huge, but I decided to try and make some very cheap orbiters. This one costs just under 30,000 and the polar one is just a hair more expensive. So if all goes well we can double up for about 60,000 in profit. With our current funds around 90,000, that should give us enough for one interesting science mission, probably to Val. Without further ado, let's launch this. I'm throttling up, but that's not quite necessary. This is one big SRB, a small SRB, and then a liquid stage. Let's see if we can get this to orbit. Well, if nothing special happens, I'm just going to fast forward the whole mission, because you have seen this a lot of times. <laughs> Right, so after that that jumble of a fast forward, we're coming in for our landing after the orbital mission, and you've probably seen me glance at the mission controller. This mission is broken. It is asking us to be in orbit and land it at the same time. So, Jay Cheetah, if you are watching this and you're making any future missions, uh, make sure that the that they are in parts. That there is part one that is orbital and part two that is the landing. You cannot have an orbit and a landing. Uh, required at the same time, obviously. Now, I'm not, I have no idea how you make these text files, so I can't tell you how to do it, but that's something you might want to look out for. Something else you saw me do was uh, slow down on the rocket before uh, entering the thick part of the atmosphere. You may think that that was a stupid move because it would steepen the re entry corridor, which it did, but it made it steeper whilst at the same time making it a lot slower and that counts for more than the actual angle so if you have some extra fuel uh, use it to slow down before you get to the hairy part of your re-entry and as you can see these quite unshielded goo containers uh, did very well they got quite hot up to 700 degrees but they didn't explode and the heat shield is barely ablated so that's the lesson here today. If you have any uh, residual fuel in your tanks, use it to slow down before you hit the thick part of the atmosphere. Now, because this mission is broken and we did fulfill its criteria, I'm going to have to go out of the game, hack that money in and allow us to do the next mission. So, that's very much what I'm going to do. Uh, as you can see, this will not allow us to complete it just yet. So, I'm going to recover the vessel, get some science points from the goo containers, the two and one like three points and possibly it will give us some science for returning a craft. No, it will give us three and a half science. Crew insurance returned. A look at that, the mission controller plugin has been updated. Let's have a look at that. Hmm, this is off screen. Finances. That will give us something. This might well be a wacky screen because I've been editing this money a lot. Kerbernaut insurance costs. All right, so now it charges me 5,000 for every astronaut and then returns that when I land. That could be interesting. For now, though, I will quit the game, edit that money in, and um, I'll see you for the next mission. Right, here I am, back again, after the brain surgery on the mission controller. Look, we have more money now. Uh, I added the 60,000 we should have gotten from that first mission, and I also added 14,700 for our new fame rule. Compared to yesterday, I had 147 more views on the videos, which means that times 100 credits for each view translates into 14,700 extra monies. So if you're watching this, thank you very much. You've given me 100 credits for tomorrow, 
or the day after or whenever I happen to be recording the next one. Sometimes I make a little stack of videos to last me through a busy spell. But anyway, thanks for giving me credits. And if you happen to subscribe, that will give me another thousand. So if you want to see nice big rockets, go on and subscribe. So our second mission for today, uh, that will earn us some money and should be comparatively simple, is to launch a rocket into a polar orbit where we will then test... Wait, did I see that right? Is Kearney the Kerman back? This man does not stay dead. He's fallen into the ocean twice, killed himself re-entering and left a fuel fully, fueled, fully fueled tanker behind stranding himself in orbit. He is back from the dead. We have zombie Kearney going into a polar orbit. That means that this, me this mission is doomed to fail. Now this is a very simple two-stage rocket, a big booster stage and a small upper stage. These antennae you're seeing here are Keythane scanners. Once we're in orbit, I will explain what we plan to do with those. So, let me launch and if everything goes to plan, you will see that fast forwarded. Right. Attentive viewers may have noticed that the telemetry link cut out and that we are now back on the launch pad with a slightly different looking ship. This has a very good reason. You see the previous ship crashed and I don't think it did so fairly because these scanners, flimsy little sentry units, I placed them at the top of the capsule. Who knew, well I would have known if I had read the dialogue, that they have a monumental amount of drag. And drag at the top of a rocket is a a bad design choice, usually. Um, so these scanners, mounted at the top of the rocket, did a very bad job at stability. We crashed and burned horribly. Of course, with Kearney at the helm, this is liable to happen again. The ship we have here now is the same, except that the scanners are placed on the bottom half of the craft. And... I am hoping that I wasn't overly optimistic and that I will actually be able to fight this ship up now because let me tell you, this is not easy. It is being a royal pain in the butt. Anyway, what I did is I modified the ship to have these drag monsters at the rear, making it at least somewhat flyable. I've decided that this is an unfortunate interaction of the Ferrum Aerospace mod and the Keythane mod and not something that I should have been aware of. Therefore, that previous botched launch will cost me nothing. Oh, if this crashes though, that's completely on me because now I know what this thing is like and I should be able to fly it. So, trying to go straight up, we are having to shoot for a polar orbit to do this mission, but so far that is not really happening. The plugin is disabled now, but that means that this launch is actually free and the previous one wasn't. But since the vessels should cost roughly or more or less exactly the same, that's not really a problem. As soon as I'm confident that the control issues have been sorted, I'm going to activate one of these scanners and see what this Keythane mod can and will do for us. Of course, having placed them on the rear of our booster stage means that we won't be able to take them into orbit. So we're going to activate it now, disable the tone, Jesus, because that is one loud detector tone. I'm going to attempt and pitch over a little bit, we're in the upper reaches of the atmosphere, and this detector I don't think is going to tell us anything here. We might have to look on the map for that, but that's not something I'm comfortable with just yet. Let us first get out of the atmosphere and then worry about detectors. Of course, all the drag from these things have robbed us of a lot of Delta V, so it's actually going to be a little bit of a challenge to get into orbit. Of course, Kearney the Kerman has not yet failed to rise to any sort of challenge. I feel the rocket is now stable enough to warrant going into the plug-in 
and activating that again. Saving close. This means that we can now in fact complete this mission having cheated us into one free launch because of that very unfortunate keythane scanning mishap. Hey, industrial accidents do happen and we carry insurance for that. So what I plan to do with this keythane mod as soon as we get it up and running is to use it on Vol or any other place you go to and there refine some fuel at the site that our Kerbals will be living. See this mod allows you to scan for resources and this is currently doing so so I'm going to have a look at the map view in a bit and hope that it found some. Uh, I'm not going to mine it on Kerbin, that would be a little bit silly. All the infrastructure is assumed to be in place there but it allows you to make things like monopropellant, liquid fuel, um, rocketry essentials with resources that you have to go and find on a planet or a moon or anywhere else. This is basically an amazing addition to the game and I think one that could come very much in handy on Vol or basically anywhere else. So we can activate our grid overlay now and these are, these are the hexagons we have scanned with our detector and you can see it has none, 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 no key thing. So this strip down does not have any. We are going to give it until our apoapsis because as you have noticed our stage has burned out this means that as soon as we leave it behind the keythane thing will stop scanning I had tried to put it on the pod but as you have seen though the results with that were disastrous so I'm going to add the maneuver node to complete our mission cash in the cash cashing in the cash great eloquent language used today pretty good 500 meters per second that should be in that little upper tank enough with a little bit to deorbit this again when the time comes so I'm going to time warp that and time warp the rest of the mission in fact because it should not be very interesting to be honest With the opening of the chute, the Kearney Kerman crazy redesign mission with Keytane Scanner in the tail section has sort of almost completed. Knowing Kearney, he will be able to screw it up from here, no problems with that. And if we look at the map view, we have scanned a small swath of Kerbin. Let me find it. Here we go, we scanned this for Keytane, didn't find any. so. Kerbal scientists have concluded none of it is to be found on Kerbin, so we're going to have to go extra terrestrial, extra kerbestrial, anyway, to other places to find it. And what we did do accidentally, oh look at that, that's a nice moon setting over the horizon. Kearney is going to hop outside and take a surface sample of the ice here, because I don't think we have some of that yet. Take a surface sample, see 9 science, great. Keep that data. Plant a flag, give an EVA report, keep that data. It's been a while since we did some real science and I'm hoping to return to that tomorrow, in fact. Let's see, oh no, finish the current mission, can I still do it? Oh yes, I can still do it. Everything goes at once, Kearney wants ice. Here you go. Finish and save the mission results, great. Here we go, we did that. So, with a few hiccups, let's get back into the pod and recover that mission. With a few hiccups, we managed to do the two missions, get the money for it, and experiment with the Keytane scanners. We have one complication, we've got 10 science points. We've got one complication now, I have decided that our space station slash interplanetary exploration vehicle needs a Keytane scanner and that's going to complicate one of the modules a little bit. Something else happened, we are now done with these missions because we're not going to do the probing the moon mission for 45,000 credits. That's just not enough, we won't be able to make that 
pay any more than dimes. Anyway, we have 150,000 now, so if you all chat up your friends, make them watch the video, and if possible, subscribe. That would make me happy, would make the Kerbals happy, and would make you happy, because then you get massive interesting rockets instead of small missions. Tomorrow we're going to have a look at the new mission, missions Jay Cheetah made for us, which uh, should be fun and I will try and undertake. And this is something you can do as well. If you like something, uh, if you'd like to see me do something, go ahead, write a mission for it for the Mission Controller plugin, send it to me, and if the incentive is right and the mission makes sense, I will do it. So this was Lorenzo for today, see you tomorrow at 6 as always, thanks for watching and goodbye.